shave and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and shaving challenge. But before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Mario Day or Mario Day. From what I understand, people that actually have that name tell me it's pronounced Mario. So we'll go with that. National Mario Day. Uh, Mario was a uh, character that's done with the movies, uh, cartoons, games, all from Super Nintendo, or excuse me, Nintendo Entertainment System, something that I used as a kid, and actually Atari even before that. Those of you who don't, don't know who he is, Google him, you'll see, and you'll see why it, uh, it's very nostalgic for me. So let's get into what this challenge is. So uh, I was uh, tagged, a bunch, uh, a couple other people were too, by Chris Bailey from uh, IMCDB to do a shave challenge with Williams Mug Soap right there for a long lasting lather. Well, lasting lather anyway, uh, which I find kind of interesting and we'll get into why in a little bit. So here's the soap right there, that's the puck. I was challenged to do what I can to make a workable lather that's definitely shavable and usable um, by this soap, which has proven to be extremely difficult by a lot of uh, shavers out there, myself included. Now, I've shaved with this a couple of times, uh, twice. The first time I shaved with it, actually three times I've used this. The first time I just made a lather, I was in the shower and I just went nuts with it to see if I could get it to work, make a mess, and uh, it worked fine. Then uh, I actually shaved with it another time off camera. I didn't have any issues, and I shaved with it recently on camera and uh, doing kind of a vintage shave, and it was okay. It wasn't great, uh, but that wasn't this puck. That was a, a puck that I had that I got from somebody that I don't know how old it was. So one of the conditions was Chris said it had to be a, a newer style puck. So as you can see, there it is. There's the date, there's the purchase. Got myself brand new. So if this is a newer one with, I don't know if they changed their formula or not over the years. Uh, I can't imagine they did too, too much with different regulations here and there. I'm sure they had to, but um, that's, I, it, this is the newest possible, latest and greatest that you could possibly get from these, from this company. So as far as I'm concerned, the smell, it smells like a uh, citronella candle. That's what I get off of this. Straight up, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. There's no powdery notes for me. That this is this is you're shaving with a, a mosquito candle is what you're shaving with. So having said that, uh, we're gonna call it go ahead. We're gonna bowl lather it right here. One of the other conditions was you couldn't add anything to it. No glycerin, no egg, no extra. So you can you can uh, soak it, uh, which I will be doing here. And uh, these ridges in my bowl here will help keep the puck steady. Some people palm lather it. I'm just gonna smash it right in there. Hopefully it'll stay steady while I lather the crap out of it and we'll see what kind of lather we can get. As far as the rest of the gear goes, uh, we're gonna be using the, uh, the Yaki Beast Head. This is one of two Yaki heads I have. I also have the Slant Bar. This is just the open palm Beast Head. Very aggressive, but I got a couple of days growth that I really wanna just take it off. I um, got a pretty uh, decent run of the mill, uh, or not run of the mill, but all around razor um, blade here. I've got the Persona. Hold that right up to there. Persona right there. Persona red. So with that, what are we going to do with an aftershave with the citronella based shaving soap? Well, this stuff, I, I like I said, I've used it before and it doesn't seem, it's not like it stays on your skin for very long because it, to me it's not an overly hydrating soap. So I will definitely be using um, something that to me, I don't know. I just, the citronella with it just kind of screamed menthol. So we're going to go with Barrister Man's Artique. Throw that on there. And the only, me I definitely am going to need a post-shave bomb after this because I know this soap for me is very drying. Uh, so I'm going to throw on the only mentholated after uh, post-shave bomb I have, which is Soap Commander. So this stuff is pretty good. I mean, it's not the greatest out there, but it's pretty decent as far as I'm concerned. And then, of course, we also have our traditional CD shaven uh, JD uh, witch hazel you know, Thayer's is in this so we'll be shaving with this stuff right here that's the equipment we're gonna go ahead and fill up the shave sink here we're gonna take a shower get ourselves all hydrated oh the brush by the way we're going with West Coast shaving I'm doing a synthetic knot uh, I don't want to I, I was gonna go badger but um, I figured this, for me, these, this one had a little bit more 
backbone than some of my badgers. So, but I kind of wanted one with backbone because I know how this soap performs. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get a shaveable lather out of it. Hopefully, we won't take our skin off in the meantime. So, we're going to go take a shower and uh, get ready for this, and we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We've got our soap still soaking. So, while we're doing that for a few more minutes, we're going to go ahead and load the blade, all showered, hydrated, ready to go. I took that line from... Nick shaves. He says, always, oh, our facial hair is always, uh, we're all showered, facial hair is all hydrated, ready to go. And then he gets into it. So it's just, uh, it's kind of his thing. Anyway, so <clears throat> got our razor here. We're going to load the blade. While we're doing that, just wanted to talk about the challenge for a minute here. Some people who watch YouTube videos uh, or the watch the shave videos, they might ask, why, why bother? Why do it? Why do a challenge? Why, why, why would you purposefully do something that may result in, in, in irritation or, you know what, because I think that, you know, being YouTuber, being a YouTuber for a couple of years now and doing shave videos, it is, anybody who does this will tell you that it is easily, it is easily, you can easily get burned out. Not so easy for me to say. However, so burnout is done quite easily. And I think it's, also easy to take yourselves a little bit too seriously and I think some of us on this channel me included every once in a while do just that so this is a great way to break things up and just have some uh, fun with it which is why we started doing this all of us started doing this in the first place right have a little fun and if that results in a bad shave whatever head will heal face will heal right who cares it's just all in good fun so we're gonna try this one time I did a uh, I think it was last not this winter the last winter Somebody challenged me uh, to do a live shave video, which I did in one of the groups. I believe it was Old Cahaba. And they wanted me to um, to try out Harry's raising stuff, razor stuff. I did a live shave video, and it wasn't pretty. It was an absolute disaster. Furthermore, I was told to shave in my car, which I did. And I, uh, you know, rinsed. I did the cold water rinse with snow because it was in the middle. It was, it was just a disaster. Everyone else thought it was absolutely hilarious. So, anyway... All right, let's get our brush all uh, wet here. Dump the water. Yep, there's my citronella candle, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so there's there's William's mug soap. Um, push down in there. I got it. These ridges are pretty pretty good and sharp, so they should hold this thing pretty well. So we're just gonna dip the tips shake it and let's start making a lather here or trying now Williams has been around for I did, I did a video with this stuff I did like a vintage shave video a little while ago Williams has been around for over a hundred years I think um, I, I, I don't remember exactly now oh, not doing so bad so far it looks the part, but as I have discovered, soaps that look the part aren't always the part. So we're just gonna we're gonna take our time with this one. I mean I do have a lot of it coming out of the bowl. But as you can see, it's very uh, it's very foamy. This is a lot like the stuff that comes out of you know what I'm gonna add a little water to this. It's, it reminds me of the stuff that comes out of a uh, out of a can. But we're just going to keep we're going to keep uh, lathering this, just so you can see it. Go to town here. See this, and it's just flying out of the bowl, which is which sounds like a good thing. But if you can see, it's kind of like if I shake it, it kind of you, you can just tell there's not much density to this at all. So we're going to try to throw the soap back into the bowl and just keep keep trying here. I still have some uh, suds bubbles on the brush that I want to try to... To me, that always ends up meaning that I don't have... It's, it's, still, it's still a little... 
I say liquidy, but at the same time, it's not. This is actually okay. Now, now we're now we're getting somewhere. Actually, I think this is the best lather I've gotten out of this thing. All right. Hold that up. I know it's the light isn't the best in here right now. It's because it's really sunny outside. All right. So we're going to go ahead and scoop some of this out. This is very pasty. You know what we'll do is maybe we'll add water when it's on the head. I added a little bit of water to my hands. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so the puck is in there. We're ready to go. I'm gonna throw a little water on my head. Just a little. All right, here we go. This is not going to be a short video, ladies and gentlemen, because we're doing the full gamut here. So, huh, <laughs> I'll be damned. It's actually not bad to start. And now I, I probably have spoken way too soon, but you know, we'll see. Huh. Add a little bit more water to it. It's definitely taking a lot of water. This so far is, I think, the best lather I've gotten out of this stuff. Maybe it's just because I took my time, which I'm usually not a big fan of. So we've got the, uh, the Santa Claus beard foam or, uh, lather going on. Got that term from Mr. Bailey, who I think got it from somebody else. I could be wrong on that. Get behind the ears here. All right. Let's shave with it. Um, there's another channel that's on there that's uh, Shave and Butcher. It's on YouTube. He just did one. Same thing. Same challenge. And uh, he, he didn't have a very good time with it, it looks like. Uh, it was rather hilarious. So, Mr. Shave and Butcher. I, I, you know what, dude? You're new to me, so if I just... If I butchered your the name on your channel, I, I sincerely apologize. Well, it's definitely, yeah, it's working. Wow, yeah, I'm uh, the razor's gliding pretty good. I mean, it's the the initial pass. Like when you know how when you shave and I shave once and then I go back and do it a couple more times in the same spot. Yeah, there's virtually no. It's like shaving just skin because there's virtually no slickness after I do that. So I don't think I don't think residual slickness was even. A thing back then. Uh, let's see. Well, soap seems to have stayed. Whatever hydration was in it seems to have remained. 
in the few minutes that it took me to do that initial pass. Cross grain, first cross grain. So, no irritation, it's working, um, and I still have, there's still a little, you know, quite a bit in the bowl there on the sides and stuff that I could dig out. It's very, um, it's very, it's, it's almost like frosting. This is not like, like, um yogurt which is what I like to see this is this is like frosting like like crappy cake frosting so anyway continuing on continuing on here so I think the key to this is just to hydrate the crap out of it. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the scent, I can tell you that. And obviously the, the post is non-existent, but. I saw some other people, um, and they're not the first ones to do this on YouTube. I saw, I think, it, actually, I think it was Shave and Butcher, um, where he rubbed this, the soap puck on his face, which isn't really, I laughed at first when I saw that, but then I was like, you know what, that, that's really kind of the same thing you do with a shave stick, right? So that's really not that crazy. And, and um, I've heard of other people doing that before, and I taking the actual puck and just doing that. And then go into town. Uh, I mean, his was not quite that graceful, but uh, I—I um, I guess you—you know—you can do it that way if it works for you. I don't. I mean, I don't like. I don't know. I just never really occurred to me to do that. Plus, a lot of the soaps come in the bowls, so there's no. I just—I'm all set with cutting it out of there. Besides. A lot of the soaps aren't as hard as this anymore. Um, in my opinion, that's a good thing. So, uh, second cross. For those of you that are new to my channel, I do a ton, I do more passes than most people. Um, I have a lot of people say to me, "Oh, I can't believe you have skin left." It works for me. I'm not. It. it it's. It's what gives me. I, I always get good shaves on my head doing it that way. Um, I don't always do both cross grains. On my face. There 
And sometimes I lose track when I'm on video, especially when I shave all the way through. I say to myself, you know, I've been talking, I caught something and I'm like, did I just do? How many cross grains did I do? You know, and uh, like I'm actually kind of thinking that right now. I'm like, did I just do, did I just redo the same one I just did? I might have, if I have, sorry. Anyway. All right, um, against the grain. Oops, we are throwing lather everywhere. That's, a, that's probably the biggest peak I've had out of all of this so far. be doing just fine I mean it's not the post isn't there I can tell you I can I my skin is as dry as sandpaper right now but and I can tell you that you know there's no there's little to zero residual slickness um, but having said that I almost recommend this for a newbie because if they could shave with this Just felt a little skipping there. I can't tell if I got myself or not. So, oh well. Yeah, I think I did right there. Now, the aftershave will clear that up. because I have to slow down when I was shaving. Um, I've seen, <laughs> I saw somebody recently on YouTube do a shave and I have never seen someone shave faster than this person. And I thought, wow, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. I, I mean, whatever works for them, if that works for them, great. I could never do that. And I like to slow down and enjoy the shave anyway, but man, if I went, you saw as I was just kind of talking and not really paying attention, I just barely nicked myself right there. So I can't call this a dop status. No dome of perfection, because usually that, that, that is with uh, no nicks, cuts, red bumps, areas of irritation, smooth as glass. I'll get the smooth as glass, but I got the nick. No dop status today. Hashtag fail. But that was, I have to say, I'd, I'd love to blame that on the soap, but it's, that was probably more me. Although, maybe if the soap, no, 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 that was me. <laughs> yep, yeah, I think we're, I think we're done here. Still, not a terrible shave. It's done. Could be a way worse. I expected way worse. Let's see what we got left in the brush here. All right. It's very, very bubbly, as you can see. Whoa, hey, I got peaks. This is way better than it was when I started. All right. Yeah, got some peaks. Look at that. That's way better. So, all right. So, we're going to we're going to rinse that. We're going to uh start throwing some post shave which hazel. Um, this is what's left in the bowl. Just gonna rinse that a little bit while the witch hazel dries. 
Um, I mean, you know, overall, I mean, it, I know I can shave with it if I have to in a pinch. It's definitely not something I would reach for. There are people that shave with this stuff regularly. Good for them. I'm glad it works well for you. Uh, I am definitely not one of them. Uh, but I do have a puck of it in my den. Uh, and I will probably hang on to this. I'm not really sure why, but I probably will. Probably just for nostalgic reasons, I guess. Yeah, I got myself pretty good. That's all right, though. That'll, that'll close. Uh, next... Actually, it's gonna close in a second. It's gonna close with this stuff. This is probably gonna burn a little bit. That, that's burning. Yep. Not a ton, but a lot more than I'm used to when I usually shave with that with Artic. Whew. Let the, the coolness kick in for a minute there. We'll just rinse off our brush. Uh, the scent on this pretty much, oh no, it's still there. I was going to say it disappeared. That maybe it was just the menthol I was smelling, but. Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely still in the brush. I will be cleaning this brush. I'm not a huge um, Citronella fan at all. There's a soap that uh, Sterling makes called um, Electric Sheep, which I have a sample of it that somebody sent me, and I have yet to use it because it's so strong. Um, still, I still I got myself pretty good. That's not closed. Whatever. It'll... I'm not worried. It'll go away. And then the coldness is, oh, there it is. I love the feeling of the menthol. All right, Chris. Challenge was accepted. And I think challenge, I prevailed on this one. I'll let you be the judge of that, though. You be the judge on that uh, as far as the type of lather, how it looked. Um, if you think it was... Decent enough. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I got a good shave out of it. You know, I mean, oh, I got a shave. I don't know if it was good. It was close. A little too close in that area. But, yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah, brush is all clean. Now that brush is, the citronella is off the brush, thank God. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and throw some of this on. Whoa, that's a little bit too much. Well, maybe not. My skin's soaking that right up. I guess I should have expected that. Whew. Yep. Yeah, that's uh, that's the shave, ladies and gentlemen, with Williams Mug Soap. It's the box. And you can pick this up at any grocery store, as you can see. It was... For me, it was 99 cents. I think depending on where you get it, it's probably anywhere between one and two bucks. I don't think it's any more than that. Uh, don't pay any more than that. If you find in your area it's way more than that, just don't. Just don't do it. Shave, shave with water. But no, I'm just kidding. It, it's, I mean, it, it does it. It it's, does the job. It does its thing. It's just, uh, you know, it's it's just one of those... One of those soaps that's, that's really hard to lather, you know, and, and um, for me, there's there's never been any post-shave from it at all. Uh, but, you know what, it's kind of a staple because it's been around for so long, right? And your grandfather shaved with it, your grandfather's grandfather shaved with it, even, I think my father shaved with it. So it's kind of one of those things I just kind of have in my shave den because I just have to have it there. You know, it's part of the whole experience, I guess, even if I never use it. Is what it is. That's how I am. So, all right. That's the shave, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and shave challenge. Uh, for those of you that like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Make sure you knock that bell. That way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at CD Shaving. Folks, I am Chad. If you haven't shaved today, have a great shave. Have a great rest of the day. And we'll see you guys in the next video.